I'm Reginald Datatula. And I'm Sonia Garcia. And this is UTA Spotlight. This week, students and teachers speak up on their opinion over campus carry. The baseball team gets off to a hot start this season. And the second annual Maverick Musical gets everyone to dance to their favorite tunes. Grab your bags and follow us around campus. Campus carry causes a concern for safety. But it's not just the wandering student that's concerned. Kevin Mendez has a story. Don't be alarmed. It's not a firearm. It's a tripod. But come this fall, that could all change because of campus carry. Indifferent. Uncomfortable. Unsure. Yes. The thought of firearms being allowed on campus can cause different emotions between students. It's pretty much an open invitation for someone just to steal like straight out of the holster. And that's what really makes me uh, the most uncomfortable. I'm not sure if the law enforcement on campus is actually prepared for all of the, the, the hiding places that we all can hide on campus. I would feel more safe. I would feel like um that the outcome was more in my favor as opposed to not. Like most new laws, campus carry presents its own challenges. From deciding what locations on campus will be gun-free zones, to the impact it may have in the way students and faculty interact. I get people in here who are angry or who are mad or who are emotional, who are upset. And knowing that they might be carrying um, will put a different sort of um, environment to the conversation. Will it make me feel less safe? Um, in general, probably not, but it will change my understanding of how I interact with, with students. A student comes up to complain about a grade on an assignment or a grade in general, et cetera. Uh, if the professor perceives that that the student has a weapon, does that at all change the nature of the interaction? Likewise, if, if it's suspected that the professor might have the weapon concealed, does that change the nature of the interaction? So I think that, to me, that's really the most complicated and unknown aspect of this. Regardless of what emotions or challenges Campus Carry presents, come August 1st, Campus Carry will be here. Kevin Mendez, UTA News. Keep up with your local laws, and for more information on campus carry, contact Campus Police. It's an exciting new season for the baseball team as they face top teams to prove their worth. Rachel Speaker has a story. Weather could not have been any better for fans as they piled into Clay Gould Ballpark to watch the Mavericks' season debut against the number seven ranked OSU Cowboys. Energy filled the stadium quickly as the Mavs scored early with a run in the first and two in the third on a total of five hits. In between innings, the UTA promotional team kept the crowd engaged with t-shirt tossing and a 30-second sprint challenge allowing a winner to take home a UTA helmet. Mavs starting pitcher Joe Kunal kept the Cowboys' bats quiet for six innings allowing four hits, one run, two walks, and two strikeouts. Reliever Jacob Moreland put the Mavs in a bind in the seventh. After loading the bases and giving up a run, Southpaw Adam Meyer came in to close the inning before any more damage could be done. The Mavs held the Cowboys the last two innings to win 3-2. to two. Fans were excited about what they saw. Ah, there's a lot of hustle, a lot of uh, just good play, a lot of good defense. Good to see the defense playing well this early. And of course, for what is to come. I'm excited for this season. I think they're going to do pretty well if they keep continuing how they're playing right now. Next time you get a chance, be sure to come out and cheer on your Maverick baseball team. The next home game is March the 6th at 6.30 p.m. against Texas A&M's Corpus Christi for a four-game series over the weekend. Excel Campus Activities got organizations moving and shaking with their second annual Maverick Musical. Sean Fuller has a story. This is the last rehearsal the UTA Ambassadors have before they take the stage in the second annual Maverick Musical. 
In addition to practice, they hope their bond will help them succeed. I think we are different from everyone else because we truly represent what a family is. As you can tell, we're taking selfies like it's, you know, any other event. We're always together. We're um, a perfect support system, I believe. They will be competing for cash prizes provided by Excel, as well as bragging rights. But it's hard to be confident when you're facing such stiff competition. And so I'm really excited and nervous to see how it kind of turns out because I really don't know. It could be anyone. I hope it's us, though. Meanwhile, the audience is making their way into the Rosebud Theater, and everyone is ready for the show to begin. Here are some of the highlights from the evening. The freshman leaders on campus performed renditions of Disney classics such as Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, and Lilo and Stitch. And with that, they won the People's Choice Award. Arlington Hall collected third place with a Ghostbusters routine. Alpha Phi Omega earned second place with pop culture references including a cameo from Left Shark. But it was the Indian dance crew with their cultural dance and suave choreography that took down the first place prize. The first place to the second annual Maverick musical goes to Indian Dance Crew! Sean Fuller, UTA News. Looks like fun. I can't wait to see next year's performances. That's it for this week's edition of UTA Spotlight. For our producer, James Belknap, and our videographer, Trey Brackens, I'm Reginald Zatatula. And I'm Sonia Garcia. We'll see you next time on campus.